I grew up in the church, uh, you know, my parents, uh, my mom, uh, my stepfather is actually a pastor. Uh, and so faith, man, my, my grandmother, like it's been it's been in, instilled in me since a young age. Um, and obviously now that you get an adult, you make your, you know, your own decisions. Um, I still make a committed effort to attend team chapels. Uh, we have Bible study every week. And, you know, you play a game uh, like this one, man, where there's a lot that goes on. Uh, there, There's so many distractions. It's, you know, it's ego-driven league. It, it, there's so much, uh, and, it, and it's a mental strain on you. Um, so my faith through prayer, uh, through the Bible study fellowship uh, with guys who are, who are all going through similar issues, that's our time when we can we can talk, um, and you can honestly look and revert into the Bible and see stories that apply to your life experiences. You know what you're dealing with, and there was a point in time this season where you know mentally I, I wasn't in the, the best of place, and I really credit uh, you know those Bible study sessions for getting me through that time, for really allowing God to just have full control. And me stop resisting, um, and me really changing my my heart. For some reason, there was a set of like a bit of hatred in my heart for whatever reason, and how it entered. Uh, but having those conversations, praying about it, talking it out, talking through it, doing Bible study, got me through, man. And I felt once I let go and let God, it really freed my mind. Um, and I and I honestly, my my game shifted. Uh, was just playing a lot freer, playing. Playing just yeah, just playing free and comfortable. Yeah, just really let, let let go of everything. So I I um I'm a man of God, man of faith. I lean on that, especially during those times. But uh, it's it's lived in the Philadelphia locker room for some time since I got here, and I think it will continue to 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 live there as well.